All right, we're getting back into it. We are in Idaho. This would be hunt day three. Kyle and I are both slinging a gun. Kyle's got one tag, and I got two. John's up so the Johnny camp. be burning, burning the tag day. So we are getting ready to head out on a piece of property I was on last year. Kyle's never been here, so there's more land than we can hunt in a day, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going in, and uh, we're going to have some fun. The views ought to be good, and I'm going to do my best to be picky and still have fun and pull the trigger. So. <laughs> Work schedule just came out, and it's nuts. So here we go. More to come. Heading into the woods. See ya. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my Love these Idaho Panhandle Mountain views. Ain't nothing like a morning view. Birds gobbling in the distance. I'm gonna try to find one. But here we go. Reasons to hunt Idaho. All right, we found our first gobble. Somewhere over on that ridge. There ain't no easy way in on them. I haven't made a call. One decent bird in there. And a three year old sounds like. And now we gotta try to figure out how to get in here. We haven't walked. I don't know how I'm gonna get into that. It's, we haven't seen the property yet, but more to come. We're gonna try to find a way out on these birds.
place here is set up. This is terrible. But we're going to lose the fly down. So I want to let them know to head over here. This really is a terrible spot to get stuck in. game calls. The only call all season long. <laughs> Why switch? This is a man in desperation trying to find a place to sit up.
Yes. Ah, that felt good. <laughs> yeah, felt good. That is a beautiful bird, that tail. That freaking tail is massive. TSS number nine. Wow. Code black attack. Yes. Ah, that felt good. I just couldn't hold it any longer. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to get by the decoy enough. The pudding was that young one. He didn't want to come up and mess with that. He was down here. You could see him strutting in. He was coming down the road. I caught him at the last second. I like Strider coming down the road. <laughs> I caught him just with my peripherals in the fan. He's <sighs> good job, man. Oh, that was good. Good job. Great shot. Busted my Idaho cherry finally. <laughs> Thank you, Phelps Game Calls. I had a good time with that one. TSS number nine. That other, that other guy's on his way in. You can bring him in next. Yeah. You want to shoot him? <laughs> Go pull this one out of the ditch. Well, that was a lot of fun. We almost called in a second one. We had him gobbling over here, as you probably saw. I'll put a little bit on the video, but a car pulled up on the road down below, got out, and started making a, a lame scratch call. And they showed up completely. You probably saw the guy wherever he was, because there's a road that's not that far away. Road hunters, what are you gonna do? But man, good bird, good show. Beautiful view in the background. Not up as high as I was last time we were here, but uh, we still got time and two more tags to go. But Apex Ammunition did a good job. Outstanding. Rocked his world with the Apex number 9 TSS. In code black, of course. Man, what a great choke. And I knew I was crazy close from that tree right there. You can see it. Take a peek, and we were sitting right at that tree. Right there. And then the decoy just right over to your left right now. <coughs> it's only, gosh, I don't know, 15 yards. Probably about the distance you shot yours, maybe even less. Yeah. I pulled off of his beak just a tiny bit intentionally. <clears throat> like I really don't want to take the head off clean. So let's take a look at this bird. Do a quick examination here. He had a nice, uh, this obviously wasn't the bigger gobble that we heard, but you know, three-quarter spurs, nice pointy, thick, a good first bird, classic. 
good mature wings. He's got some definite shoulder scrub from fighting. Yeah, right there. He's been fighting a little bit, a little bit. I'm surprised he didn't take out the decoy. Decent beard. Probably, what, seven inches maybe? I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second here. Let's pull out the instruments. And we'll, we'll dial in the exact spur length too while we're here. Used to do the spur gauge. <coughs> Put it right down on the bottom of it. He's exactly three quarters. Right on it. And on the nub, three quarters, dead on both of them. Let's not lose the truck key. All right, beard length. Eh. On the curve, his tips are Eight inches at the tips. Nothing else going on. At least there's no beard rot this year. No extra ones. Put them down nice and clean. I'll tell you, I know the pattern with that number nine TSS. So it was easy to just, I put it, I actually put the circle right about here. I'm surprised I, I don't, actually, I was looking at his beak. I was about to pull and said, no, get down below the beak. So I came down below his head and off just a hair. And right there you can see there's a nice pattern right through his head, nice. Just enough to take him out. And I have to have blood bath going out of here. That's the difference with doing pattern work ahead of time. Is that you know what's going to happen. You know you can move your circle one way or the other and still get a clean kill. Without having to just have an absolute headlock. <laughs> if I would put it on his head at that distance, there'd be no head here to look at. Especially that choke at that distance. I know the pattern is probably no bigger than this. So that's why I just like, I'm gonna get them on the outside edge of the pattern. And sure enough, nice. Nice and clean. There's all kinds of holes in his head, around his head, right through his brain right there. All over the neck. Nice solid pattern. Let's take a look at that tail. Saw it coming in. It's a nice tail. Nice big white tail. Yeah, it's a good tail. I mean, for a younger bird, nice. Good genetics in here. He's still got some real mix in him, though. He's, this is not a classic uh, Merriam's. It's more a real mix that's going on. I call him a hybrid. I could see the tail fanned out. It had a lot of a lot of gold in it when he was standing there with all his other feathers too. But a nice bird by any by any standards, no complaints. What a great first tag! What a great strut! And we were sitting there aiming, and that gobble, first gobble, came from right down here. And so I was expecting that bird to step out any second. And as I'm aiming, out of the corner of my eye, I catch the strutter coming down the road. I'm like, oh, the other one snuck in. Now we don't know. Hopefully Kyle got it on film. <laughs> uh, but what a fun hunt that was. Apex did the trick, no problem. Rocking that shell. I don't even remember pulling the trigger. <laughs> day set. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. John gets a video <laughs> of John cutting a tag. These are things that just don't happen normally. I don't know, I just don't get much of that. Let's see. What would we do without electronics? What, you know, I mean, right? All the busting I do? And I am pulling it out. It is only 647 right now. <laughs> this is great. We still got turkeys gobbling all different directions out here. We're going to cut this tag. I'm going to take this bird, throw him in the truck because we're not that far. And we're back at it with Kyle's tag. Or my second tag. I don't know. We'll see. But the pictures are done. After all that, 
I didn't even look at the date because I'm so wigged out. There's so many good birds going on. Dropped the bird about 5.30, 5.45, something like that. April 25th. This is so sad, only having two tags in your pocket. Tons of time. Still pulling in three-year-olds. There was no hens around at all. So it is what it is. Cutting the tag. Kind of epic. Might be the only two tags for the entire turkey season. And that's depressing. <laughs> We're really hoping Washington's going to pull through. But I don't have a lot of faith in it. Kyle's got more faith than me. They'll do it. They'll do it. They'll do it. I don't know, man. Power of positive thinking. If power of positive thinking would cure liberal idiots, everything would be wonderful already because I've had a lot of that <laughs> positive thinking going on. Gotcha. All right. There's a million different ways of putting your tag on a bird. But what I've found over distance through the woods and failures in my earlier seasons is that if you keep it on one side of the spur and the other side of the toe, it makes it easy. And then a rubber band also makes it easy. So you can hook it on the spur, or you can hook it on the back toe first. Stretch it out nice. Make sure they're not old rubber bands. And just keep going around. The rubber really holds on to the plastic nicely. You can tape it. Tape's great. Tape always works every time. Right back to the spur. Good to go. And that's my system. Everybody's got one. All right. We need her. We're heading out. We're going to throw them in the truck. Go back out and then fight over the next one. I don't know. Who's going to take it? You or me? We'll figure it out. I don't know. Only one tag each for the whole season. Jeez. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Oh my god. Anything's possible. Mm. It'd be sad if this is the only walk of fame for the day, but I don't think that's possible. There's a bird goblin down below us. We know those birds are over here. And there's, there's tons of land, so. And Phelps game calls? We're gonna bring some more in for sure. Good day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, you find me. Hope you find me. Yes. <sighs> that felt good. <laughs> yeah, felt good. That is a beautiful bird, that tail. That freaking tail is massive. TSS number nine. Wow. Code black attack.